my husband, he said, we're just like my big fat Greek wedding. And I'm like, people look at him, what are you talking about? And he says, well, you know, American guy marries Greek girl, gets baptized Greek Orthodox. This is one reunion we'll never forget. I'm Linda Carroll Trotter. I was born in Greece. I was adopted by Americans. And this is the story of how I found my big fat Greek family. Hello, I'm Perry Nemiroff, and welcome to Movie People, where we meet passionate fans whose favorite film or director made a big impression on their lives. Today we're in Franklin, Tennessee, diving into the world of my big fat Greek wedding and learning about one remarkable family reunion. I was born in the small mountain village of Stranoma, Greece. I was given to the orphanage in Athens when I was a month and a half old. And at eight months of age, I was adopted by Americans from San Antonio, Texas, James and Ruth Forrest, wonderful couple who loved me very much. My dad, he had a movie camera and he got with his friends and said, well, I wanna film this. I'm the only Greek adoptee that I know of that actually has a film of them arriving from Greece. I grew up in a kind and loving environment, had all the advantages anyone could ever hope to have, but I really didn't have much exposure to anything Greek. Did you want to see some brochures? <gasps> what do you remember about the first time you watched My Big Fat Greek Wedding? I went to see it with my husband, and I didn't know what to expect. I really had no real connection to my culture before this franchise of movies came out because my parents weren't Greek, and I wasn't raised around that. So went to the movie, and I'm just amazed because it's the way I can connect to that culture and heritage that I missed being in a big, fat Greek family because my big, fat Greek wedding was one big family thing. Everybody was all in your business and everybody's telling you what to do and the father's squirting Windex everywhere. And I'm just like, is that, really, is that a thing? You know, I mean, and it was just my first foray into really knowing that Greek culture like underneath all of it more than just superficially. When you were growing up, how much did you know about your biological family? My parents had been told that my biological mother had died in childbirth, that I was a premature baby, that there was no family to find. And then when my parents passed away, my dad in 2015 and my mom in 2017, I felt all alone again, like I was an orphan. I didn't have any brothers or sisters or anybody else to lean on. So I decided that regardless of if there was anyone to find or not, I was going to see what I could find in my homeland of Greece. Did some internet searches and uh, among other things. And in the short period of about three months, I amazingly found my Greek biological family in Greece with my biological mother still alive at the age of 80. Hello, hello. What did she say? I was worried before the plane landed, it was gonna, is it gonna be weird, is it gonna be awkward, are they gonna feel like family, are they gonna feel like strangers? What's this gonna be like? Because you're really walking into the unknown without knowing really what's happening. So when I hugged her and my cousins and everybody else that was there, it just felt normal. They felt like family because they are my family and it was an amazing experience. The wedding scene in the movie is so iconic, so did you ever want to have your very own Big Fat Greek Wedding? When they had the actual wedding scene, it was very emotional for me because I had never really seen what a Greek wedding looked like. I was just fascinated by the whole thing and how symbolic it was. And I love the crowns, the Stefania, with the walking around the altar three times and how that's you take your first steps as man and wife together. And that just really touched me. When our 25th wedding anniversary was looming in the distance, I got this crazy idea that, you know, I might have had to wait 25 years for my big fat Greek wedding, but I'm gonna get one. How about we renew our wedding vows on the platea, the village square in our village where I was born with my biological mother who missed all the milestones in my life, missed my wedding, missed my kids' births, missed everything. And let's have a Greek touch to it. Let's have the crowns, the Stefania, let's do all of that. So that's what we did. We 
all gathered on the platea with about 50 of our family and we renewed our wedding vows and then we used the crowns. These are the Stefania and I made them myself and we got to do kind of our own little big fat Greek wedding. Do you think there's going to be any similarities between the Portocalis family reunion and your very own? I know in the trailer for my Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 that Tula is talking to some distant cousin or something to her. They meet when they get off the plane at the airport because everybody in Greece is related to each other. They're sitting at the table talking and Tula's holding up the picture of her father's friends. I know them. Do they still live here? No. How do we find them? They will come for the reunion. Did they tell you they're coming? No. And I said, oh my gosh, that reminds me of my family when we planned the wedding anniversary party. I sent out invitations. I said, RSVP, please tell us if you're coming and how many people. So a week before, I still nobody has RSVP'd. No one, not a single person. And so I'm calling my family, are you coming? I said, yeah, that's a week from now. Of course we're coming. We don't need to tell you now. Typical, typical. I am surprised, but I am not surprised because I'm never surprised. How does it feel to have an entire film franchise celebrating your culture, especially one that's gone on to be hugely successful, that's written and now also directed by a Greek woman? It's a pretty amazing thing because people have preconceived ideas about Greek people or all they know is something about ancient Greece or mythology or philosophy or medicine because of, you know, Socrates and Hippocrates. But I don't think anybody really understands the intricacies of family in Greece and how Greek families actually interact with each other. To have a franchise celebrate that, especially for someone like me who had no exposure to a Greek family the whole time I was growing up, and to see that on a big screen, it just makes you have this sense of pride in your heart that this is your people. These are my people and they're being celebrated in an amazing way all over the globe. How did your own story inspire the work you do? My journey to find my roots in Greece was more amazing than I ever thought it could possibly be. And I never realized how much finding that piece of my identity that was missing, how important that was and how much it would mean to me. So when I experienced the joy of finding the peace and the closure and the sheer amazement of finding my Greek biological family, I wanted every other Greek-born adoptee to have the same thing that I did. So the idea for the Ephthahia Project was born. And I didn't name it the Ephthahia Project because my name is Ephthahia. I named it that because Ephthahia means happiness. So we're basically the Happiness Project. We're a nonprofit that assists and support Greek-born adoptees searching for their roots and Greek families in Greece who are searching for their children that were lost to adoption. For me, it's just a labor of love and a way to give back to, to my country. Another thing that touches me about My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 is the fact that their journey is back to Greece to go to Gus's ancestral village to get back in touch with their roots, which is basically what I did. I journeyed to my little village of Stranoma and, and came to my roots. All of these Greek adoptees that we assist and help, they want to also find the same thing. We only want what non-adopted people take for granted. They know where they came from, but we don't. We're leaving for Greece again on Tuesday. I can't wait to get on that plane and get to Greece and see my family. And then when we're all there together, I'm hoping my Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 comes to our little cinema in Nafpakos and we can all go see it together. That would be amazing. That's a wrap on this edition of Movie People. I hope you enjoyed meeting Linda Carol Trotter and hearing her story of finding her biological family for another epic family reunion. You'll want to check out my Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 in theaters on September 8th. I'm in beautiful South Park, Grace with some of my 